So in this lecture we will see the SCR characteristics. SCR is a silicon control rectifier which has three terminals, anode, cathode and gate. Okay. So between anode and cathode a power supply is given. Okay. Anode positive and cathode is connected to negative that means it is in forward bias. Variable power supply is here and we will vary this supply or the VAK or the supply between the anode and cathode and we will observe the cathode current sorry anode current so we will draw a graph in which there is a variation in voltage between anode and cathode and observing the anode current and this is also VAK and it is a minus So we will vary VAK and we will observe anode current and the gate voltage will vary or we will put it in the different stages right so the different values of VG okay. so first of all we will keep it as a zero okay means now gate has zero voltage supply or it is open right and now we will increase the VAK and we will observe the anode current so anode and cathode are in forward bias as we will increase the voltage both are in the forward bias but there are two extra layers that is the NP okay so if it is a simple like a diode positive negative or the p type n type positive negative is here then it will easily conduct but in this the two layers are extra okay so that's why if you increase the voltage in the positive or the in the forward bias you will get a very small current okay so when you will get this means increase the vak that is the voltage between anode and cathode then there is a very small current or the ia though you are increasing the voltage between anode and cathode and when at a very certain high voltage then it is suddenly it suddenly becomes conducting okay and it is known as the transition state okay so this is the gate current or the ig where ig equals to zero so it takes the very long time or the very high voltage okay suppose it is a 0 1 10 13 50 uh, 100 200 and somewhere at a high voltage it will suddenly get turned on this is a transition state and it will get moved on and this is and once it comes under the uh, conduction or it starts or it turns on the SCR so current through the anode increases suddenly and the, there is a sudden rise in the current okay so at this time okay the gate is at the zero level or it is a open that is the IG is zero okay so remember that when you have get voltage is zero and you are increasing the voltage VAK so as you increase the voltage there is small current there is a very small current here and as you increase the voltage the current remains constant current remains constant almost remains constant but at a certain voltage at a certain voltage okay so this state is known as the forward blocking state this state is known as the forward blocking state that means forward blocking state that means it is in the forward bias you are increasing the voltage but there is a no conduction it is blocked by the device it is blocked by the device in the forward bias that's why it is known as the forward blocking state you will get very small amount of the anode current you will get the very small amount of anode current okay so like this and at a certain point at certain point that is known as the VBO that is the forward breakover voltage this is known as the forward break over voltage this is known as the forward break over voltage at this point the anode or the this SCR gets turned on immediately or instantly so it becomes a transistor state this test is very fast and it suddenly starts conducting and the current increases though there is a means voltage as just like when there is a collapse of a dam in the same way 
it happens at a certain high voltage if you are increasing the or is such a, is a suppose there is a balloon you are increasing the air pressure in the balloon so balloon expands 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 and at a certain level it, it gets blast and the air passes so say same way here so you are increasing the voltage and the current is there is no uh, current flow very small current flow and at a certain high voltage or the forward break or voltage this state is known as the forward blocking state this state this voltage is known as the forward break over voltage means after break over okay so uh, after the break over there is a conduction or the electrons moving from this side this is a negative side the electron are blocked here okay so all the electrons are blocked here and here is a high potential positive so that's why the electrons get attracted that means the breakdown of this region takes place and the electrons move to this side that means the current current flows through this circuit and the current increases very high or the very rapidly and there is a continuous path or the channel is created there and the current increases very fastly with a low resistance that's why the current increases or the anode current increases we will get the anode current so this is known as the forward breakers okay so this is the first step where the vg equals to zero that means ig equals to zero now we will keep vg is certain higher level okay so that's why some ig will be there okay so very small suppose something is a 5 volt or something like that now again we will increase the vak from 0 from 0 to higher voltages so now in this case we will get a certain same way the current and after a certain voltage after certain voltage due to the ig now this ig positive these are the electrons this is the n type of semiconductor this is the n type of semiconductor this is the p type of semiconductor so this is for the positive positive given to the p type semiconductor and negative to the n type so that's why the, it becomes the forward bias so that's why electron gets easily passed to this side and now it requires to pass only this side but the, at a voltage it requires much voltage okay so at a certain high voltage okay so it gets under transition state and again it will get turned on and the anode current increases means at this level the scr is turned on at this level scr is turned on okay so again we will perform the same experiment but now we will increase the value suppose 10 volt vg equals to 10 volt again we will do the experiment so we will see the result same way the get initially when we will increase the voltage between anode and cathode the current ig or sorry the current ia is very small very small but at a certain voltage or the uh, less than the before one because here was the something ig was there so now it is a immediately it will get out or very at a very small voltage of vak it will get turned on okay and again it will pass through the transition state and this is the current okay same way if you increase the voltage or if you go on the increasing the voltage you will get the curve like this okay so this is the characteristics or the working of the scr okay so what we are observing we are observing the anode current by changing the vak that is the voltage between anode and cathode okay so as we will increase we, we observe that the when we will increase the vak so the current ia initially depends on the ig or the this power supply so that's why we are plotting the graph by varying the vg okay so initially we keep it open so that's why it becomes the zero ig equals to zero and initially when we increase the vak up to this this is known as the forward blocking state so after vbo that is the forward break over voltage it gets turned on i gets turned on okay so same way as we will increase the vg so next step so the forward break over voltage is near to that again next it is near to and near to and as we will increase the voltage or the gate voltage so the scr uh, undergoes or the it turns on at a low level voltage okay so next this state is known as the transition state this is a very fast next this current or the this current is known as the ih that is the voltage uh, holding current this is ir latching current okay so what is the mean by ir and ih so ir means latching current and ih means
holding current. Latching current means it is a minimum current. It is a latching current is a minimum current required to turn on the required to turn on the SCR. Latching current is a it is a minimum current required to turn on the SCR. Okay, and holding current means once it is latched or once it is turned on. Okay, once it is latched or once it is turned on. Okay, so to keep or to hold in the on state, it is the minimum current required to hold the SCR under on state. Okay, so I M that is the latching current. It is minimum current required to turn on SCR. I H minimum current. Required to hold SCR in on state or under on state. Once the SCR is turned on, once the SCR is turned on, okay. So it is a minimum current required to turn on the or the uh, to maintain the on state. So just like a two wheeler, okay. If it is a minimum petrol supply initially, you require. To turn on the engine, and after uh, engine starts, you require some minimum petrol supply to maintain its on state. Okay, so it is a minimum levels. In the same manner, in the same manner, it is a current. Okay, latching current is a current which require to turn on SCR, and it is a holding or the to hold the on state of SCR. It is a holding current required to hold the on state of the SCR. Okay, so this is the SCR characteristics in the forward bias. SCR characteristics in the forward bias. Now in reverse bias. Now in reverse bias. Reverse bias means now the position will be changed. Uh, the polarity of the power supply that means anode will receive the negative. Okay, and here is the positive. So in, of course it is in the reverse bias. And in the reverse bias, SCR totally behaves like a normal PN junction diode. Okay, in the PN junction diode, in the reverse bias, uh, the same characteristic we will get. So as we will increase the voltage in the reverse direction, very small leakage current is there. Very small leakage current is there. Okay, here is the positive side now, and at this side it is negative, and very small leakage current is there. And at a certain high voltage, it is completely undergoes avalanche breakdown or permanent breakdown. Okay, so this is known as the saturation current or leakage current, and this is the permanent breakdown. This is the permanent breakdown. Okay, this is the avalanche or permanent breakdown, and the characters are same the characters are the characteristics are the same as that of a normal pn junction diode in the reverse bias of a scr okay so there is a certain uh, avalanche breakdown voltage or the permanent breakdown voltage in the reverse bias or the and in the forward bias the important steps are the forward blocking step or the forward blocking state forward break over voltage latching current holding current okay and this is the transition state okay so these are the main characteristics of the scr